Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. And we are going from the world of the undead into the world of the Fae, guys, as we move on to book number four, Summer Night. Now, Summer Night is a very important book in the series because it has ripple effects that we feel all throughout the rest of the Dresden Files. The story begins with Harry in the middle of a pretty bad depression over what happened at the end of Grave Peril, where, spoiler alert, Susan Rodriguez becomes infected by the Red Court, so she leaves Chicago to try and find a cure for her vampirism, or at least to try and keep the monster inside her at bay. So Harry's obviously a little bit distraught about that, and to add fuel to the fire, the Winter Queen of Fairy shows up and gives our wizard friend a offer he can't refuse, and hilarity ensues. So I think for the cast today, we are going to go with Karen and Billy and Georgia. Um, these all appear in the book. This is really the book where Karen kind of stops seeing Harry as a menace to society, still sees Harry very much as a menace, but not one that's malevolent, not one that's actively trying to hurt the people of Chicago. And Billy and Georgia help out as well. Unfortunately, most of these other characters show up later in this series, but I think Karen and the Alphas will be a good way to go. Let's uh, see what we're dealing with. Now, I have a bad feeling because I saw a lot of obstacle cards. Yeah, if we're dealing with the Fey, probably going to be a lot of debuffs. No transportation. All attacks with a range of two or more at minus one range. Secrets of the Fey. All investigate cards or minus one clue. White Council meeting. Cannot overcome other obstacles. Oh no! That is not good. Okay, well, that complicates matters. It looks like we only have three foes, though. Grum the Ogre, Aurora the Summer Lady, 14 hits, and Lloyd Slate. The card says Summer Knight, but he is very much the Winter Knight with 11 hits. Yowza. Um, let's... Toot Toot! Toot Toot and friends. Oh, what awesome artwork. Uh, when taken, active player and next player in turn order may either draw one card or take one card back from discard. That's interesting. That's a mechanic we haven't had to experience yet. And the Mothers. When taken, active player may move any one obstacle one to three range. Active player draws two cards. Ah! Alright, I think I know what we gotta do there. What we probably need to do is take that first and then move White Council Meeting all the way up here to the front. And then we actually have all the objectives in close range. Hopefully we have uh, the Alphas and Karen have overcome cards as well. And in terms of the cases, what's Mab's agenda? When solved, add one hit to Aurora the Summer Lady. Summer Night's Murder. When solved, add two hits to Aurora the Summer Lady. Can Elaine be trusted? When solved, add three hits to Aurora, the Summer Lady. I see what's going on here. And Morgan and Merlin's setup. When solved, Harry draws one card. Aw, combo breaker. And I have no investigation cards with Harry. That's not good. Alright, let's see what else we have here. Got to investigate cards with the alphas. There's an overcome card. Huzzah. And what about Karen? Alright. Good news. We can grab all the things. It's just... Yowza. First thing we're going to do is we'll use... It's range of two. Take one advantage. Oh, whoops. Probably need to start, don't we? There we go. For two fates. And then we will move the White Council meeting all the way over there. Unfortunately, oh, Secrets of the Fae got moved back some. Oh well. Lupine Leap. Take care of the White Council meeting. 
that's something. Now, in terms of range of three, I'm trying to go for the cheapest one. And it looks like Harry drew two cards. What does Harry have now? Some investigation? <laughs> one investigation. Well, that is what it is. Um... Let's go ahead and use... Three Fate, One Fate. Let's go ahead and sack the motorcycle. Add a clue to can Elaine be trusted. Now then, we will use... The Blue Beetle. To take care of no transportation. That probably was a bad call. Oh well. Range of three. Now this may trigger a showdown. Eh? No, it did not. Good. I'm gonna grab two two friends. That was a big risk on my part. And we will draw a card from the deck, and Harry will draw a card from the deck, because we need more investigation. Now that we don't have any advantages, or any, um, yeah, any advantages to claim, we'll have Karen add a clue to Morgan and Merlin's setup, I guess, why not? That's what I wanted. Consult with Bob. I like it. So, we'll sack the take advantage. And we'll move... Secrets of the Fey back here. There's no use in uh, grabbing investigate cards for right now. Add one hit to Lloyd Slate, because, well, why not? Um... Surprise Aikido move. We could go ahead and may trigger a showdown if we roll badly, though. Never mind. Hmm. I don't know really how to approach this. Do we need to solve one case and then kill all of these guys? Because that's going to be rough. It's going to be real rough. But we need some fate, so as much as it pains me to do this, we're going to sack Deadeye Shot. We'll add clues to can Elaine be trusted. Remember, if we solve these, we will um, do hits to Aurora, which is something. And that's all the advantages dealt with. Now... This investigation may only be used if it will not solve the target case. Let's go with... What's Mab's agenda? That's seven. That's the easiest one to do. That hits for four. We need to use Consult with Bob. Because Consult with Bob will put clues all around here. Um... Four, potentially one fate. Man! I hate having to... <laughs> See, they're laughing at us. We'll sack for more. Worst comes the worst, that's going to look good for us in the showdown. Now, I'm going to use Pyro Fuego on this row. And that does damages to all those guys. Then... I'll take advantage and use uh, Billy and Georgia's stunt, which hits everyone that has damage. There we go. Now, Karen, we could go ahead and I want to use consult with Bob next. That's for fate. Hmm. 
Let's see if we can get it at a discount. Nice. Two fate. And now we have three. Let's sack. Hmm. What should we sack is the question. Three? <laughs> None of these guys are in blasting rod range. Not even close. Um, we'll sack Private Investigator. Why not? And we have no target for Harry's talent. Now, what I'm waiting for, however, is Karen, because now we have uh, clues and uh, damage on everyone. So that's going to give net us a cool seven fate points. So we can afford to be a little bit um, liberal with our spending. Four clues, potentially less or more pack hunting. Hmm. That could potentially solve what's Mab's agenda outright. Or we could keep on doing damage. Yeah, let's do three damage. Ooh! That puts Grum in blasting rod range. Now let's use Karen's stunt. Thing is that we've used these characters so much, it works to our advantage. Now, consult with Bob. We'll do it to everyone on this row. Awesome. Now, the question is, for two range here, or we could do some more damage. Oh, we can't really do any damage to Rum the Ogre. Or we can, but Harry can just deal with it outright. Let's sack flanking attack. And that'll do an automatic hit to Lloyd. Karen. Four hits. Yeah. Why not? For four fate. That's one ogre down. <laughs> and now we've got nothing but damage here. We do range of three. That's five. Oh, we're getting close to showdown territory now. Pack hunting. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see... This is very different from the stuff that we've dealt with before. I still want to use the blasting rod. Is there anyone? No one has an attack card, though. Well, actually, six. Nope. He can't. He won't be in blasting rod range. Lloyd won't. And Karen doesn't have anything. So we have to kind of hail Mary on him. And that gives five hits. Eight. There's ten. Now, for Billy and Georgia, we're going to have to sack pack hunting. This is all going to go down, down, down to the showdown, and it's going to be very, very close. Oh, all right. Never mind. I forgot. We did that one last damage. I keep on forgetting about that. Okay, and Harry can't... Harry can't Blasting Rod, Aurora, or anything. So we are going to go ahead and go for the showdown right now with five fate. Two fate, three fate. You can do two fate for a hit and four fate. Ooh. I am detecting a lot of random number generation about to hit here. So we can go for one guaranteed fate and really hope that we roll well. Let's do it. Oh no! I am sad. Four fate. Well, we can do four fate right there. Guaranteed through our season four fate for three. 
Man, fate is not with us today. And then... Add zero. <laughs> Yowza. Okay. Well, that is an interesting deck to play against. I'm not sure if the Alphas or Karen really have what we need. I don't know. It seemed we were doing pretty good. It's just, I, I think we could have pulled it off at the end, but just the Fate Dice were not in our favor. But that seems to be kind of the the uh, theme when you're going against Faye. They like to stack the deck. But all right, guys. Um, we will go ahead and end it here, and we will go with um, round two with the Fae next time as we reattempt Summer Night. And maybe I'm going to have to change my strategy quite a bit now that I know what we're going to be facing. And uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.